you're looking to play Digimon Blue deck? Well, in this video I'm going to introduce you to some blue cards that are going to be released in the booster set to help you to adjust your deck. So let's go! Most often used Digitama egg that we will see in the D blue Digimon decks, Upamon. So Upamon has the inheritable skill, once per turn, if your opponent controls a Digimon without Digimon sources, you get to draw one card when this Digimon attacks. Originally, this Digitama was supposed to be used in the decks that uh, discards a lot of digital sources from your opponent's side of the field, but I definitely can see this Digitama being played in any other blue deck as well. The next Digitama that I like is Demi Vimon. So Demi Vimon has inheritable skill once per turn Digimon with a jamming ability. When this Digimon attacks, you get to draw one card. The question here is how many jamming ability Digimon cards we are going to play in our deck. But in each booster set, we could we can always see at least one jamming Digimon released. And for those who do not know what jamming does, so jamming does not prevent uh, activation of the security cards. Security cards will be checked normally, but your Digimon will survive. And then let's move to the level 3 Digimons. So from the level 3 we have Gabumon. Gabumon full art can be get from the pre-release event on the November. If you buy 12 Digimon booster packs, then you will get this dash pack from which you can get your Gabumon. And Gabumon is 3 cost to play, 0 to evolve and it has only 1000 power. But it has very strong ability, when this card is played you get to draw one card. And in any game drawing card is super good. It gives you a lot of options and advantage against your opponent. Then we have Monmon. So Monmon is also needed card. This card is cheap to evolve blocker. If you use your blockers correctly, you can even change the flow of the game. And at the beginning you're going to use the Grizzlymon from your trial deck, but when the time comes, you might want to add extra blockers to your deck. Then we have Vimon. So Vimon is 3 to play, 0 to evolve. It has only 2000 power, but it has jamming ability. It works perfectly with the Digitama that I mentioned it, uh, at the beginning of the video. And also I love small Digimons with the jamming abilities because it gives a lot of pressure to your opponent. Your opponent will have to think how to re remove them from their field and how to and maybe play some blockers. Then we have Gamamon. So Gamamon is level 3, 0 to evolve and it has 3000 power, but it also has inheritable skill. When this Digimon is destroyed, you get plus 1 memory. Uh, at the same time, you should get Limon with it, because if you evolve Limon on the Gamamon, then you get 3 memory when the Limon dies. It is interesting that Limon gives you plus 2 memory and that is not inheritable skill. It is also interesting that Limon actually tends to die a lot on the show and it leaves you a lot of memory. Good memory. So Gamamon is also works very nice with the blockers. You can evolve Grizzlymon on the Gamamon and when your blocker is going to die then you get plus one memory. And maybe your opponent will reach zero on their turn in the memory scale and they will automatically end their turn. And it is also nice that for example with the Leomon you can just attack the opponent's security and it gets destroyed by the security Digimon, you still get those plus 2 or plus 3 memory. Other level 4 Digimons that I, I highly suggest getting is Vidramon. So Vidramon is going to be a bit more harder to get as it might be a bit uh, more rare than others, but it is 6 to play, 3 to evolve and it only has 6000 power. It is a bit weak of Digimon, but when this card attacks once per turn, if you control the blue tamer, this card becomes active again. And it also has the inheritable skill. This Digimon gets plus 1000 if you have a tamer on both turns. And if you're going to play Vidramon, I also suggest getting the option card Emerald Blaze. Emerald Blaze is very nice option card. It costs only one to play, and it gets and it gives 3,000 power to 
Vidramon until the end of the turn. And it also has the security effect, add this card to your hand and draw one card, which is very nice. And of course, while this game is still fresh, we have to play some vanillas. And good vanillas are those vanillas who has a small cost. And here we have Armadillemon, so Armadillemon costs 2, 1 to evolve and it has 4000 power, which is a lot. Then we have Elecmon, which is 2 cost to play, 0 to evolve and it has 3000 power. And finally we have a monkey. Monkey is 6 to play, 1 to evolve and it has 6000 power. Cheap and pokey. And pokey vanilla cards are good in your security zone as well as on the field. And finally, let's move to the option cards. Emerald Blaze is very nice option card. It gives 3000 power to the Digimon and you get this card to the hand for free if it was security checked. And also you draw one card, which is very nice. From option cards, I would recommend getting some Boring Storm as it is only one cost to play and it has simple effect draw one card. It also has a nice security effect draw two cards which is very nice to draw all those combo pieces that you need from your deck and i also like that it costs only one because you can use that leftover memory and finally we have river of power river of power three cost to play and it has the effect return up to three level three digimons from the opponent side of the field to back to their hand. This option card is not that good, but at the beginning you're definitely going to encounter some Digimon Rush decks that play a, a lot of level 3 Digimons. And you have to have this option card which lets you to clear that field. So thanks for watching today my video, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Momentai!